You know how Granny used to have that waffle iron? Well, look what we've got. Here's four reasons you must own a waffle maker. Rumptious reason number one. We are making mashed potato waffles. So, what we have in here are two cups of mashed potatoes. You can use your leftover mashed potatoes or anything you have in the fridge or ready to go. We have two cups of mashed potatoes, one egg, half a cup of flour, half a cup of grated cheddar cheese, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and they are ready to go in the waffle maker. If you open this one more time, you are out of the kitchen. Okay, so we're gonna take half a cup scoop of the batter and put it right on the waffle maker. So satisfying. We have got a mashed potato waffle, friends, and we're gonna top it with chili and then some grated cheese for the perfect savory waffle. Waffle number two. We are making French toast waffles. So in a bowl, whisk together two eggs, a third of a cup of milk, a splash of vanilla extract, and a pinch of cinnamon. You're gonna dip the bread in and right into the waffle maker. She told me I'm allowed to open it now, so here we go. The big reveal. Gorgeous. Check it out. It's like lattice French toast. That is good to go. Number three. We're making cinnamon bun waffles. So any refrigerated uh, cinnamon bun dough goes right into your waffle maker. Oh boy. <laughs> Close it up. The aroma is intoxicating. And we're just gonna drizzle a little bit of glaze over top. Look at the icing traps in this. As if those three waffles, delicious waffles, weren't enough reason to buy a waffle maker, we've got a fourth. We're making a brownie s'mores waffle. We're starting with a brownie batter, and you'll just take half a cup, scoop it in. Is this brownie mix? Is this like a brownie mix? any brownie mix, your own homemade or from a box. So the chocolatey aroma coming out of this is unreal. And I'm gonna take these out. We're gonna let them sit for a few minutes just to set so they're, they're easier to take out. We're gonna drizzle some chocolate sauce over top, some graham cracker crumbs, top with some marshmallows that we're going to toast and you can toast them. If you have a blowtorch at home, you can use that. If not, you can always toast over the stove using a skewer. You just poke the marshmallow and put it over it. Oh my, you can't use that. <laughs> I know how. This is for grown-ups. We're just gonna lightly toast the marshmallows and we're ready to go. It was an incredible waffle palooza today, thanks to my sister. If you like what you see, Press like and subscribe to our videos. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, yours is on fire a little.